going on, you guys? All right, so I'm uploading this a little earlier than usual because, well, time is of the essence. I have things to do today. Well, not really, because, well, it's almost five o'clock, but, but anyway, what I'm going to do today is a top five countdown. Usually I do a top 10, but this time it's a top 5 because originally when I did my top 10 Star Wars characters, originally I wanted to break it up into two parts. My top 5 Jedi, my top 5 Sith Lords. And I'll do a lot of lists on, with Star Wars, but today I'm going to do my top 5 Jedi. And with that being said, Let's get right into it. Alright, so the reason why Luke is at number five and not number one is because, don't get me wrong, he is one of my favorite Star Wars characters, but it's just He's not exactly the best Jedi at first. When Yoda tries to train him, he's he got distracted and nearly lost his life when he tried to save Leia and Han. Well, and you. And of course, when he finds out that Darth Vader is his father and there's still good in him, he procrastinates and persistently tries to make his father see that he's truly good. And even though he had the choice to kill his father, he didn't do it because he knew that it wasn't the right thing to do. And that just shows how much of a hero he is. Even though... Even though his father would have died anyway, he still chose the Jedi way of trying to defuse the situation without violence. And so that's why Luke is at number five on this list of my top five Jedi. Okay, so for those of you who don't know who Qui-Gon Jinn is, he is Obi-Wan's master from The Phantom Menace. And, well, he's murdered by Darth Maul at the end of The Phantom Menace and says that Obi-Wan should go on to train Anakin. And, well, it's, it, it sucks because Qui-Gon was an awesome Jedi. Not only was he courageous, but you can see where Obi-Wan got his determination and discipline from. And even though he only lasted one movie, he's still one of the greatest Jedi, in my opinion. And so that's why Qui-Gon Jinn is on this list at number four. Speaking of Obi-Wan, Obi-Wan is, well, most definitely the most iconic Jedi. He trained both Anakin and Luke. And he put up with Anakin for so many years. I honestly don't understand how Obi-Wan was able to do it without bursting. But Obi-Wan was still a good master and he still cared for his student and as he gets older he watches over Luke and 
in A New Hope, he sacrifices himself so that Luke and his friends can get away. And even though it was sad to see him die, still, it wasn't in vain because he lived on through the Force. And he helped Luke find Yoda, and when Darth Vader fell, Balance was brought back to the Force because he helped guide Luke. And, and that's why Obi-Wan is at number three on this list. Alright, let's face it, Mace Windu is awesome. What, whether you love Samuel L. Jackson or you hate him, still. Anyone who's, well, like Samuel L. Jackson, is bound to be a likable character. Not only does he stand out because of his purple lightsaber, but he is a skilled Jedi with the Force and in combat. And there's actually a... Okay, so when Samuel L. Jackson first took the part of Mace Windu, he wanted to stand out. But there's actually an explanation as to why the purple lightsaber is very rare. But I'll get to that in a different video. But anyway, Mace Windu is one of the most well, courageous Jedi and the most skilled Jedi other than the guy at number one. So that's why Mace Windu comes on this list at number two. Okay, so you all pretty much saw this coming. He's in the thumbnail. He's constantly being quoted online. And if Yoda is not at least in your top two favorite Jedi, you're not a Star Wars fan. At least that's my opinion. Of course, if you generally just don't like Yoda, that's, that's fine. But anyway... I love Yoda because even though he's very old and he seems very frail, he's one of the most, if if not the most skilled Jedi in both combat and with the Force. And if you've seen The Last Jedi, you'll see that even in death, he's still awesome. When he faced both Count Dooku and Darth Sidious, he was able to hold the Force Lightning in his hand and throw it back at his opponent. And going back to what I said about Mace Windu with the purple lightsaber, I'll get into exactly how he was able to deflect the Emperor's Force Lightning back. But Yoda, he can do it without a purple lightsaber. Because he's Yoda, and he's awesome that way. So anyway, that is my top five Jedi. Hope you enjoyed the video and there may not be a video next Wednesday. Depends on if I'm busy or not or or in that case if I feel like it or not. But anyway, I hope you guys love this video and also I want to make I want to get something out out there for those of you who don't know. Lately, I've been very, very sad. Nothing to worry about. I'm not having suicidal thoughts or anything. It's minor stuff, but please. But please do, expect, do respect my privacy. If you're a very, 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 very close friend of, me, of mine and you really want to know what's going on, if I haven't told you already, by all means, message me, talk to me. But... But just know that it is minor things. It will get better for me. So, in the meantime, I'll see you guys later. Thank you for watching. And 
and please, by all means, help me get more exposure because, well, lately my channel's starting to slow down again, but, but anyway, I'll see you guys next week, whenever I see you, until then, stay awesome everyone.